Alright, quick video this morning on a uh, few things, bodybuilding, Ian Valliers, Mountain, and now Frank Budaleski. Alright, uh, I've been in love with bodybuilding for a long time. Five years old, in my parents' library, that was one of the books that I just went to, you know. Looking at the pictures of Arnold, I knew even when I was little, like five, six years old, I'm like, that is what I want to be like. I want to be like Arnold, you know. The way he looked just, you know, just screamed strength, and I, I wanted to be strong my whole life. And so I chased that. I chased that all through my upbringing, okay. I was always trying to be like Arnold. Uh, I was working out with weights. I was training like a bodybuilder. It wasn't until I really, really met a pro arm wrestler that I was like, okay, this, this is what I'm actually chasing. That feeling of strength uh, that I got in arm wrestling was so unique that I kind of was like, okay, this is, this is really what I'm after, this feeling. But I'll tell you, I love bodybuilding, and I follow the sport, and I think that there's a lot of gems and leadership which, which comes from the sport of bodybuilding. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of that game. Now, I've, I've read some things on the internet this morning that sparked me to make this video. Things written by Frank saying that it's irresponsible of me to challenge these big people like The Mountain, Ian Valliers, and he is insinuating, I think, himself Okay, so I want I want to put some things on the table just so everybody's exactly clear on what did happen and what's happening. Okay, so the first thing is talk about the mountain. All right, this wasn't planned at all. Okay, mountain, super cool dude. He's at uh, he's at an event, uh, strongman event that I'm having a kids event at. He's working the next booth over. Super cool guy. I'm like, hey, buddy, have you ever tried this? He's like, no, no, not really. And I'm like, man, I'm like, you got to try it out. You might really like it. Um, I'm like, eventually your knees are going to go, your hips are going to go, and then you can, come, you can come over to us. And so I talked him into coming over and uh, doing the match. Uh, well, not, not the match, just training. I'm like, just let me show you some stuff. And I didn't even know that it was being filmed. We actually did that kind of off and on a few times that day, and all that all that that was that was the friendly interaction of two guys kind of showing each showing each other what they know about their sports. Uh, wasn't planned, okay. wasn't a challenge. wasn't 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 a match. Talk about Ian Valliers. People saying that I challenged Ian Valliers and broke his arm. Okay, this is false. All right. What happened with Ian Valliers? Okay, great bodybuilder, really cool dude. So, we were doing a show here in Ottawa, a at a fitness convention, doing a for charity for the Children's Hospital. We were I was arm wrestling a hundred people, and he was about number thirty-five or something like that. And I see him coming up. So I didn't challenge him. He's just part of a list of people that signed up at the convention. So I see him walking up towards the, the table, and I'm like, right away, this is the kind of guy who breaks his arm. Be careful. Be careful. I'm saying it in my head. So I'm talking to him. I'm like, have you ever done this before? No. I'm like, okay, let's kind of work slow. Let me kind of pressure up, feel what you got. And the dude is diesel strong, okay? Ian Valliers was like, beast strong, one of those guys that you get, and it's like, okay, this guy's got a ton of potential, um, so I'm like, wow, man, I would love it if you came out and, uh, and trained with us sometime, I think you'd love it, and he's like, yeah, he's like, I think I'd love it, and then uh, I'm like, but listen, go easy, because I'm going to pin you here, okay, it's part of a, part of a show, and, I, and he kind of clamped down, like uh, committed, the way you're supposed to if you want to win. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, buddy. I'm like, easy, easy. I'm going to pin you. Be careful, okay? So, went again, and that thing went, okay? His bone completely let go. All right, I felt terrible. I felt terrible. I'll tell you, he took it like an absolute champ. All the bone breaks I've seen, 
Ian Valliers took that break like nobody have ever witnessed. All right. Um, I felt really bad about it. And, uh, you know, Ian, I owe you supper sometime. <laughs> but, hey, that event made me realize that I cannot do open challenges with the public where, you know, because people are stubborn. If you're a pro and you're arm wrestling an amateur, okay, and if that amateur is made of the right metal, fortitude, like if, if they're strong here and they don't want to lose, you get a strong guy and they will go to the point of break, okay, like Ian did. All right, so I, I kind of stopped doing these open to the public challenges. Which brings me to my last point, is Frank. Now, I've read some posts by Frank uh, indicating to me, it sounds like a lot of people are telling him he's going to break his arm. And I think that he's actually concerned that he's going to hurt himself. Okay? Uh, Frank, I knew who you were when I challenged you. You're... A super huge, super strong, junior level arm wrestler. Okay? Everybody I've talked to says you're a super cool guy. Okay? All my interactions with you, right on that level. Now, here's the thing I don't want this to be a pity match. I am the favorite, there's no doubt. There's no doubt I'm the favorite. Okay, you are bigger than me. You outweigh me by probably more than 100 pounds of muscle. All right, about the same height. I'm still the favorite. Everybody knows that. All right, but I'm not looking to break your arm. All right, if you're not, if you're not up for this match, don't do it. Don't do it. If you are thinking that I'm being a bully challenging you, okay. This is nothing to me. This is fun. This is a good time. All right? This is a chance for exposure in the sport. This is a chance to do some cross-community work. This is a chance for us to go and do a seminar together. All right? Daddy out here? Hey. But don't think that I'm coming to hurt you or make a fool of you. Okay? That's not my intention. But I want you to seriously... Seriously, assess yourself. If you doubt your chassis, or if you're not ready to do a level, of, a match at this level, then let's reconsider, and you can do this in a couple years. But if you're ready, if you believe in yourself for real, then I'll see you on the 9th.